What is going on, YouTube friends? So I have a little treat for you guys and girls, uh, especially if you're in the market for new laundry machines or if you're just a washer and dryer enthusiast. Uh, what we have here uh, is a Samson front load washer and dryer. Um, if you can't tell already, uh, they are the 9100 series matching set in white. Uh, again, this is the 9100 series, not to confuse this washer for the 9110 series washer. Even though they look exactly the same. <clears throat> that being said, I'm not quite sure about the 9110 edition and its difference from this washer. Maybe it's a slightly better version of this washer or maybe it's for a different market outside of the U.S. I don't know. Now the purpose of this video is to help those that might be looking to purchase uh, these machines or, or as well uh, entertain or you know waste the time of other people. <laughs> but seriously, I'm making this video because I looked on YouTube when I was looking to purchase these machines and no one cared enough to put a video out there sharing their experience with these machines <clears throat> or at least a five minute overview with them. I mean, am I right? The stuff that's out there on YouTube right now, review-wise, for these machines is a joke. <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one that's lazy, right? Anyway, this video is going to be short, uh, 10, I would say 15 minutes tops. Uh, it's just a simple review of both the washer and the dryer. And, uh, I, you know, I, I plan eventually on releasing two more videos, uh, you know, that aim to cover the washer and dryer in greater detail. Also, uh, I'd like to mention that I have another treat for you guys. A friend of mine has the top load versions of this washer and this dryer, and that is the 9000 series Easy Reach Drum Edition. For those of you that don't keep up with Samson's you know, products, according to Samson, the 9000 series top load washer's drum is you know, raised higher, and uh, more shallow for easier reach, uh, but it's a lot wider, like really wide. So size-wise, um, the the machines offer the same washing capacity capacity as these machines, but that's for another completely different video that I'll be making for the 9000 series top load washer and dryer. So y'all be sure to stay tuned, okay? Uh, before I begin with the overview of these machines, I just want to apologize ahead of time if you find me clearing my throat a lot. The winter time is not very kind to me or my throat, so sorry about that. <laughs> uh, also, please keep in mind that there's going to be things that I show you about these machines that the video is just, it, it, it's not going to do justice, you know. Uh, all right, so anyway, let's get started with the washer. So starting, oh, actually, well, just in general with the machines, uh, as you can see, I guess we could get started with the washer, whatever. Uh, as you can see, uh, the, the, they're very catchy. They're, eye, they're very catchy to the eye. I mean, like, look. And again, I'd say the video's not doing it justice. Uh, the doors, the doors are actually, sorry, my laundry room's really small, guys. Uh, the doors are actually a really nice dark blue. They look almost black, but they're very dark blue. Um, and of course, blue is my favorite color, so bonus points on my end for Samson. Uh, as you see, we decided to put them on pedestals. Um, that's obviously a personal choice as some feel they're, you know, tall enough without the pedestals or they're just too cheap. <laughs> but, you know, then you have others such as myself that want to keep, you know, from killing their backs and opt to spend the extra money. Then you have those that are, uh, I guess, savvy enough to build their own pedestals and, uh, you know, save those extra 600 bucks. And to those people, I'd say I envy you guys. I agree. I mean, I feel it is bull crap that you have to spend uh, that additional money on already expensive machines. Uh, especially, you know, if you already or spend that extra money, especially if you're already spending that money on these already expensive machines, but 
you know, what can you do, right? Especially if you're a taller individual such as myself and need them. Um, they also, as you can see, they serve as uh, storage boxes too. Let's take a look at that. They pull out like that and you can keep stuff in there. They're not that tall, so most of the time you won't be able to, or yeah, that tall. So most of the time you won't be able to put your detergent in there because it'll hit the top. So yeah, um, specs, spec wise, uh, if you haven't read any reviews on them before, uh, these machines are big. Uh, they, they're, they're each 30 inches wide, 30 inches, each of them. So that's, you know, 60 inches of machine. And, um, of course that's obviously to accommodate their enormous interiors. Um, the washer is uh, 5.6 cubic feet, and the dryer is uh, 9.5 cubic feet. Um, guys, for, for an appliance that's intended for home use, that is huge. Um, when placed on pedestals, both machines, both of these machines are 53.7 inches tall. So almost when you think about it almost four and a half feet tall uh, depth wise they are 32.5 inches uh, with the door closed and 58.3 inches with it open so when you read reviews with people telling you to make sure they fit uh in your laundry room they're not kidding uh, just take a look at how close i cut it i mean like look at this look at this the side of my wall right here and then like in the middle and then moving over like they're almost touching both sides of my wall so yeah uh, if you can't tell from the video uh, both of these machines are very glossy especially the doors and uh, the control panels uh, some would consider it nice and pretty while others will hate it uh, due to the fact that it's, you know, the surface surfaces are prone to, you know, scratches and, you know, scratches and buffs and all that, all that good stuff. So, yeah, it's, you know, personal preference. Uh, starting with the washer, let's start with the washer for real this time. So starting with the washer, let's take a look at the control panel uh, in further detail, starting from left and then we're going to move over to right. So from left, uh, on the dispenser tray, you can see that the dispenser tray promotes Samson's trademark features, including the signature super speed, uh, power foam, and uh, the VRT Plus or vibration reduction technology plus. Uh, next, you have your cycles along with the, hey, what's up? Y'all can see me. Along with the uh, very shiny knob to select them. And as you can see, this washer has a ton of cycles, uh, 15 cycles to be exact. And to be honest, probably more cycles uh, than you'll ever really need to use. But hey, it's always good to have them just in case you ever need them, right? Uh, let me get a clear shot of all 15 of these cycles so you guys can see it. So. And I'm sorry if it's really shaky, guys. I mean, I'm shooting this on my iPhone and you know how much it sucks shooting video, excuse me, shooting video on your camera phone, so. If you guys need more time, like if I'm moving too fast, which I don't see how, but if I am, just go ahead and pause the video and that'll give you obviously more time to see the cycles. Uh, moving further to the right, um, you guys can see the additional options you can choose to add to your wash cycles. Uh, depending on which cycle you choose, not all the options are going to be available uh, for each wash cycle. And all these buttons, all of them right here, in the shape of the U, all these buttons are touch sensitive. So just, you know, a light touch, just a light touch um, will trigger the options and the changes. So moving over, to the last two buttons um, are the power button and the start and pause button. Uh, these buttons are the only ones that you have to actually push in, like push in here, 
to trigger a response from them. Um, if you've ever been or are currently an owner of a Samsung laundry machine, uh, then you guys know of the catchy little intro tune or tone or chime that it has when you turn it on. So with that being said, uh, let's get these babies fired up so you can see it light up. Hold on, let me try to get a shot from the distance. All right. So let me get it to focus, there you go. All right, so here we go. As y'all can see. All righty. As you can see, depending on which wash cycle uh, you choose will depend on the options you can change or add. Well, let's go to the normal option. Okay, so you see how the options change? So you see how the normal, the normal option, you see that it's 45 minutes. And of course, let me, let me show you about this super speed. So according to the super speed option, according to Samson, uh, this is an option that cuts the wash time down, how long it takes, without supposedly sacrificing how clean your clothes will come out. So like, let's push it, can you see? So apparently we hit super speed, it cut it down 15 minutes, so now it's a 30 minute wash for normal. Apparently it doesn't sacrifice the wash capability of it. So, well, uh, that's pretty cool, I would say. Um, now let's actually take a look inside the drum. As I've said before, um, it's a, it's a 5.6 cubic feet. Let me try to get some more light in there. So it's a 5.6 cubic feet. And of course, like I've said, this video does not do it justice. Uh, as y'all can see, I've put this bath towel in here. Just a normal, regular bath towel. And it's just a, it's just to serve as a size comparison to show you how the towel gets dwarfed when it's inside the drum. I mean, look at that. Inside this big old drum, it's just one towel. And I'd say it looks pretty dwarfed. To the naked eye, it's, it looks better, guys. So. What's even crazier, though, is um, when you think you filled this drum up, when you think you filled it up with clothes, like completely as much as possible, once the water's actually dispensed into the drum, uh, the load is cut down to like a third of its size or so. Um, when the washer's actually powered on, as y'all can see, when I take the when I take the flashlight off of it. When the drum's actually, or when the wash is actually powered on, the drum light is turned on, as y'all can see right there. So, yeah. And of course, that light helps to uh, illuminate the wash drum, uh, the inside. You also have uh, your two spray nozzles, as you can see right there. Let me try to get it. Brighter shot. Let me use the flashlight. There. So you have a wash nozzle right there, and then you have one right there. So, yeah. And of course, uh, if you can't tell, the wash drum is actually uh, tilted back slightly. Uh, and according to my iPhone's uh, leveling tool, it's uh, tilted at a seven degree angle. All right. So yeah, pretty cool. All right, so let's move on 